Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Aaron, and welcome to another video. In this video, I want to clear up a lot of questions people have concerning me not being on Larry's channel anymore and a lot of questions concerning my previous video. So let's just jump right into it. I'll start off with the main thing and the main thing concerning me thinking I was filming with Rigid Studios. What I meant by that statement was I never actually thought I was a part of Rigid Studios. I'm not that stupid. To be a part of Rigid Studios, I'm sure you'd have to sign a contract and take that all up with Jesse, which I never did. And I never said I thought I was a part of Rigid Studios. What I meant by that was that I never thought I'd be filming with Rigid Studios. I never thought I'd be filming with people associated with Rigid Studios because John's in Rigid Studios, Candace is, Larry is, Joe is, they are Rigid Studios. So what I meant by that was I never thought I'd be would be filming with Rigid Studios. Do you guys kind of see what I mean by that? So yeah, I never thought I was a part of Rigid Studios. As I said, I meant that I never thought I would be filming with people in Rigid Studios. Now the second thing, yes everybody, I know that I am still going to be in Larry's videos. I am aware of that and Larry had a talk with me as you guys saw in the video that I would still be in videos. I com I'm, I'm completely aware of that. It just sucks because, you know, I was told that I was going to be a huge, uh, huge thing. I was really going to be one of the main people on the channel. And it was just upsetting to be kicked off and said, we're not going to use you that much unless it's a skit or something along those lines. Now, I have watched Larry's video titled Truth. And uh, I'm not too sure if I agree with the whole rotating schedule. I think it's, yes, a very good idea. Still, in this, the long run, as Larry said, I just don't think it was a smart move for him to call a, call all of us out there without properly going over everything because, as I stated in the video where I was kicked off and voted off, that we had all canceled things and had to not go to places, not do certain things we wanted to do to get to Larry's house to film a certain video. And it just sucked that we had spent all that time having to cancel on things and then we just get kicked off like that when we could have been doing a lot of better things with our time if we were just going to get kicked off in the end. Do you guys, what I, you guys get what I mean by that? I'd also like to clear up that I am not mad at anybody on the lounge at all. There's no hard feelings towards anybody. I completely understand the choices they had to make and it was a tough call. I have no hard feelings and no ill will towards anybody in the lounge and I'm not mad at anybody. A lot of you guys seem to think that I'm angry and upset with them. I was upset about the decision. However, I'm not upset with them. There's a difference between the two. Obviously, I was upset with the decision of getting kicked off, but I'm not upset or angry at Larry, Joe, Tom, John, George, Candace. A lot of people are misconstru misconstruing the two. Not to mention, a lot of people are upset with me about the joke I made with Joe and his being bald. I never meant to be a dickhead about that. I was merely just making a joke, and I never was purposely trying to make fun of Joe because he was bald. Obviously, a lot of people are bald, and I'm not trying to defile or demean anybody that is bald. That was merely just making a joke and meant no harm in it. A lot of people are taking it and saying I was a, a cocky little jerk and asshole when I merely only meant that as a joke. But if you guys were offended over it, uh, I apologize. It, it was just a joke. Uh, a lot of you guys aren't able to see that. Um, but it was just a joke. I meant no ill will towards Joe or anybody that is bald out there. Uh, but yeah, I felt there were, there was a need to clear that up. But anyway, guys, that is my response to Larry's video and the entire situation and the backlash I've been kind of receiving. I'm getting mixed opinions on what's all going on. A lot of people are supporting me and a lot of people are against me. I appreciate all the supporters and I can understand all the viewers that are against me. But anyway, I want to thank you all for watching the video and I want to thank you all for the tremendous amount of love you guys have been giving the channel. Only a few days ago we were at 300 subscribers and now we're at 700, nearing 800. That is absolutely incredible and I couldn't thank you guys enough. Hell, we're almost even to 1,000. I never thought I would ever make it this far with my channel and I'd truly like to thank you all for the amazing amount of love and support you've been showing the channel. Thank you all for watching. Go check out my Instagram. I'm really active on there so if you guys want to see more of me, I go live on there quite, some, quite a bit. So if you guys want to see more of me, go check out my Instagram. That will be in the description. Go check out Larry's channel as well. That will be in the description. As I said, I have no hard feelings or ill will towards Larry. So go check out his channel, everybody. Hope you all have an amazing day. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out, everyone.